through until nine o'clock. Um, and we're live. I see we are live there. Good morning to all the Fail Confrichis who are going to join us now on Facebook and YouTube and so on. They can see us. This is how we look like. This is me in my work clothes. Uh, there we are. And that's Jules in his work clothes. Yeah, man. This is now how we work and this is how we look. Uh, and that's the story. Um, and we are we are live on Facebook. Jules, why? Um, because we fooling around or fooding around with Jenny Morris. Uh, not well, fooding. Fooling, fooding. Fooding, yes. Thing. Well, yeah, we I suppose. Fooling around with her too. There we go. Let's make it official. <laughs> Fooding around with Jenny Morris on Heart FM. Fooding around with Jenny Morris on Heart FM. All right, Jennifer, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Juliana. Uh, listen, you better just get your act together, sister. Wow. <laughs> Fooling. We do what? fool. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> what's up with the ego? I knew it. I, I, you know what I said to my Mr. C this morning? I want to see if Julian's paying attention to me. So I just made it all wild. <laughs> I know. I'm like, what's going on? Um, and oh, your hair's well, so you know long. What? My hair's so long. I need a cut. Mm. I need a palladium moment. Yeah, no, I, I thought, let me just make it a bit crazy. <laughs> but why don't you grow it out for the difference? Like into like a bob or something. A bob? Are you crazy? Uh, bob women are very boring, they say. I'm not a boring uh, bob girl. I'm a wild. <laughs> I'm a wild child. <laughs> I love it. You know, then I sprayed oh. some stuff in it and I made peaks. I thought, I wonder if he's paying attention because the other day I had two different earrings on. You never noticed. Yeah, but that was difficult Just to saying. see on camera. But no, very yeah. difficult to see not for you. <laughs> <laughs> from our vantage point. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm seeing all the comments. Everybody's saying good morning. Sherry even saying food morning, morning everybody, which is very clever. Yes, good morning. Good morning, yeah. good morning back <laughs> to you. Um, would love for the men also to pop a, a good morning message. It's just women. Um, uh, they in these yeah, morning <laughs> in the hot team. Yeah, morning, morning, morning. <laughs> really. All right. So, Jen, um, it's condensed milk and lemon. And what, what else have you got there that you're knocking together? We're continuing. And, the and cream. And condensed milk are in an amazing uh, run of luck with Jenny because last week was about, <laughs> uh, was about condensed milk and this morning. Yes. So, good morning and good morning and good morning, my little Esmeki. Good morning, Mama. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we'll show this and we'll take a beautiful big chunk out of it just now. So literally all one has to do is you just take your cream. I love this because it's just hoi. Okay, so she's got a big cream. mixing bowl for those who aren't on social media with us. She's got a, it's from one of these stand mixes. So she's got the bowl, she's dumped in, uh, and we'll have all the measurements and, and amounts and whatever on our uh, Facebook page. So go along and check it out there, but just understand the method for now. All right, so you, you're throwing in cream and lemon what else? Lemon zest. And lemon cream zest. and lemon zest. Then I'm going to put one can. Yeah, yeah darling. Before you even go down that road, for people who've not used lemon zest, I mean, yes. just there's a way you extract it off the lemon. Uh, there is what is zest, and then there's what is lemon. And often, <laughs> and often people go too deep, and yeah. So I mean, just like how how do you get the zest part of the lemon off? And not the and not the pith because the pith is very yeah. bitter. So yes. basically, what you do is I'm going to show you a couple of little tools now that you're asking. Um, yeah, if you because... have a look, um, Aiden, on your on your grater, there's yeah. a very fine, there's a very fine um, grate. Okay, have um, a look here. We must just use the so one part. The of the you use the fine, and... yes. Yeah. And go gently. Treat it like a lady. Just go gently, or treat it like a man. It doesn't matter. You just <laughs> go very, very gently, so that you don't. You just want to go above the skin and not beneath the skin, because then it tastes so bitter. And, and also, it's... when you're zesting. Yes. Yeah, it's it's actually just the yellow part of the lemon, right? Yes. I mean, just the yes. top layer of yellow. The second you go too deep, you you uh -huh. find I mean, especially you get all the nasty stuff. But it changes the, the 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 flavor texture completely, terribly. And also the thing here that you must remember is that I'm going to just zest some of this. There's this other little tool. Yeah. This, like that, and you can buy them at any kitchen shop. Uh, and you just you just do this, and it goes exactly the right depth. Ah. Okay, um, into that. 
this kitchen smells, I just want to rub this lemon oil all over me. It just reminds me of turkey. And then you get a thing like this, a little microplane, which also, and it doesn't allow you to go too deep unless you are a little bit too okay, vigorous so they are, and a they little are bit too enthusiastic. You have multiple little tools and gadgets you can get at any good kitchen See? shop, a kitchen section of a supermarket uh, that will allow you to zest, uh, well, lemons, oranges, but, I mean, lemons generally is what you end up using. Yeah. And I just want one thing is not to throw... Uh, because often we, we use the inside and we mm. throw away these peels that are full of all these nutrients and amazing flavors. Oh, we, we don't even think to use lovely. it, but. Do you know what? You know what I do with mine? Uh, once I've zested and I've used the juice, I take the shells and I make a natural air freshener because, you know, I've got these foul mouthed um, parrots and yes. um, you can't spray chemicals around. So I put them in Mike. Mike just takes over from me, I put them in the microwave with some water and I boil them in there and you get this beautiful essence of lemon water and it's wonderful to just wipe things down or just to mist your house with so there's waste not want not um mm -hmm. you never have to waste anything so okay. from that point of view use the whole thing All now right, we're coming to condensed I'm milk going to, i'm going to leave you to dump the condensed milk uh, i know jules just stepped <laughs> away for just a moment but uh, you'll be back momentarily uh, and you guys can I pick shall. up the discussion i am going Absolutely. to slip away and leave you there with the people uh, in fact there jules is back so uh, i'll leave jen with the people on facebook there we go in the meanwhile so now what i've done is i'm just going to give that just a quick little mix if i put the, the acid the acid in the lemon is what sets the whole thing okay so I'm going to just mix this up and I'll put the lemon in last before I just, you can either whisk it by hand or I'm going to be a very lazy girl and use the machine. Um, and, and it's going to go into the machine and then I'm going to just stick it. Here's your lemon juice. Remember to strain your lemon juice because if you think the pith is bitter, if you get a pip or a seed, it's even worse. And then literally just stick the machine on and away you go. Is your child behind you? Is my child here? He wants to pick the clean bowl. I can see him. Hello, mommy. Yeah. Boy. Please <laughs> meet Ogrish. Come to mommy. Come and say hello, Julian. Come here. His name is Ogrish, which is Polish for bite. I think you pronounce it Orish. But we could okay. woogie 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 because we love him, Julian. He's such a How bright, handsome he? boy. He's 12, 13. Oh, wow. He's, uh, he's getting on. He's getting on, mm. but he is just, he's a magnificent little creature. Okay, darling, so now while you're doing that little thing, you can use any plain biscuit you want or use a biscuit that loves to be in the company of lemons, okay? So choose your flavor as well. Um, and yeah, you just what put a little be, bit. Jen? What well, biscuit you likes use, to be in the you company? You can use, well, hello. Um, you can use ginger and lemon are beautiful together. Just think about a lovely hot toddy. Um, but normally things like, I love the, the, the tennis biscuit, you know, that coconutty mm. one, coconut and lemon. Um, or just shortbread. Any plain biscuit or anything, as I say, don't use like a biscuit that's going to clash because you're I not going saw, to be happy. I don't know if it's new or if I've missed it for a while, but I saw lemon-flavored tennis biscuits the other day. There are so many. It's very confusing now. I want to slap them because I keep bringing I the wrong confused. stuff home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's driving me nutty, but they've got quite a few different flavors. You're right. But I love the, the idea of, because I love shortbread. Oh, me usually, too. like you, I don't know, most people wouldn't think shortbread for something like that, but now if you're doing it, then it's sure Oh, no, no, yeah. absolutely. Now, look here. Can you see how thick it is? Look at that. Mm. Isn't that glorious? And I'm just making how long a little did one. You whisk it for now? Oh, as long as we've been talking a couple of minutes. Okay. What makes it thick like this is the acid. Uh, it's curdling because remember condensed milk is milk and cream. So it's bringing the whole thing together. No gelatin in here. And then you just take your biscuit, whatever biscuit you want, and you go nice thick. I'm using tennis and I'm using Mari. So it's up to you. Um, and you make a nice layer like this and then you go again. If you wanted to, you know, berries work exceptionally well with this too. You could put a beautiful layer of berries. I've got some blueberries, which I'm going to add to that. So this is a nice alternative, Julian, to um, to a trifle. And it's quick. So your, your fridge is full, eh? Yes, well, I have um, a little 
event this evening. So I that's all the prep. to be so full. No, like, it will be empty by tonight. Okay. Oh, man, that's just because you're blind. You just don't look. You know what I said to my gardener yesterday? Talk about you can't find things. Can you see this dog? Do you see how big mm. is my dog? So I said to the gardener, just please, can you trim all the dead bits off my fennel next to the pathway where the dog is? He says, where's the dog? <laughs> I said, the big dog, the dog is sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i was finished <laughs> oh my goodness me but he's loyal royal so i love and him. how's our new cameraman doing oh he's absolutely fine he's on mm. top he's on oh. top we're not going to see him well the, that at christmas okay you're just gonna have <laughs> okay. to be very curious he's gonna be okay. your christmas gift and then what okay. you do is um a little bit some more crumbs baby look some more now, how did you crumb that just with your hands? Oh, yes, darling. I took it and I just broke it up in my hands. I can do this. <laughs> and look here. But I can also put it in a in a blender thing and then absolutely. You want, you but the you don't want finer. it to be too but not too fine, Jules, because it's always okay. nice to just send that little bit of texture in your mouth. And then I've toasted coconut. Um, because I think coconut and lemon or coconut and lime just make a beautiful combination together. They like each other. How did you toast it? So in the I'm pan, dry pan. It's those, I'm imagining it's those little sliced coconut stuff that you buy. I get this from Atlas. You can get all mm. kinds of coconut there. I get all my coconut goodies from them. Um, so you can and get just the in coarse a hot one dry pan. In a hot dry pan, but you must remember it's got oil. So that's the um. thing when you're toasting something like coconut. So I want to give you an example of what can happen. If you take your eye off the ball. Have a look at that. Can you see that? Look mm. at that. That's what can happen literally in seconds. So the idea is not to take your eye off the board. You, the minute you see it starting to change color, the idea is to take it away off the heat, take it off the heat, and then you will have just your, you will have just enough heat in that pan just, and you keep tossing it, okay? And then you always take that hot off, onto a cold plate because if you now leave it in the pan it's like when you're toasting your spices it will continue to cook and those oils are going to burn so what do you think does this look magnificent you can put um also if you wanted to flaked almonds um mm -hmm. i didn't go in the garden uh, i would put a little bit of mint leaf here if you want to this would be lovely with raspberries as well mm -hmm. and now now we are going to ha, we're going to cut into that one okay I we'll love this those. One I here. don't even know what to call them. Are they what? Not bowls? Those, but you said the glass. I like mm. yes. they, they, they uh, like is, bowls. And has been knocked together. Uh, so I'm just going to burst on into their conversation. Mm. So even the parrot is getting involved there. And I've been keeping an eye on you guys on the socials. That that lemon dessert is looking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Just look at how beautifully set it is. So it needs an hour in the fridge, maybe 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then um, what you do is I'm going to throw that there and use that here because why should I wash more dishes? Yeah, and there yeah, you yeah. have it. You have a beautiful portion. And I'm going to just pop a few little blueberries on it. And if I wanted mm -hmm. to, I could just also put some fresh cream. One of the leftover oh, yeah. cream. Oh. Lee yeah. Sable saying it looks so yummy. You can't wait to make it this week. Uh, yeah, but I it, it does, and I agree with her. The only thing, and I'm going to say it again, Jen, is that yes, um, you make it look so easy. And then, you know, when I oh. try and make it, it doesn't look like that and probably doesn't taste like that either. It will. If you just follow that recipe, like, like Janine um, is asking, and uh, can you add cream cheese to this mixture to make a cheesecake? Yes, you can, but then it becomes a fridge cake. Just remember that, mm. okay? So you could actually add a bit of cream cheese to that, which would change the texture. It would be taste absolutely delicious. Um, but Jules, I promise you, it's paint by numbers. We were just having a chat. Remember, I went into the bowl, one, two, three. Mm. Added the lemon juice last because you see how quickly it sets, you know? Um, yeah. Um, this could almost be like a, someone is saying, uh, this your lemon delight is like a, mer uh, a lemon meringue without a meringue. Once again, if you use your imagination, you could pipe some beautiful Swiss meringue onto that. Take a blowtorch and, you know, um, give mm. it some color. Or you could make um, 
or you could make some um, <laughs> little baby meringues and just crumble that over the top. You own it. Oh, I didn't, you think I'm you luscious. Did you see making uh, me straight? Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Springer moment the end I said with uh, Jenny uh, Brad is saying I recently discovered our dear Jenny Morris and she's luscious she definitely <laughs> make me straight <laughs> <laughs> even oh, with my bad day day, now I'm impressed <laughs> <laughs> like, well, can you see the layers just go back into their curves if you look into this bulk can you see the beautiful layers Julian oh, that and it's literally lovely. it's biscuits biscuits you could also put some chopped almonds on the inside you can add some coconut if you want to do this the sky's the limit i always say take that recipe and own it um and this is a very easy dessert i made this obviously the night before so it's beautifully set but it'll set it's, in 90 yeah. minutes i mean this mixture is so so easy jewel so it will taste like this and you will be able to make it my darling one two three four mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. well, not only will Jules be able to make it or I be able to make it, we can all make it. Uh, just follow uh, the method and uh, read up the list of ingredients on our Facebook page. Uh, it'll accompany this post uh, of the live video. Jenny, you have yourself an absolutely awesome, awesome Thursday. We'll catch up with you next week. All right. Absolutely. Take care and be safe and wear your mask. Always, always, always mask and sanitize and everything else that goes with it that's our jenny morris we food around with her every thursday all right let's uh fooding around with jenny morris on heart fm